it's the way you look in my eyes How I feel is beyond words, can't describe How you ignite this fire so deep inside Got me hot like the summer Hello and welcome back to Speaking for Life with your host Tamara, where we speak into the lives of single moms. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Well, let's get into it. Time is always of the essence when it comes to single moms. I believe there are four things, a simple, simple things that a single mom should do in January to set the tone for the rest of the year. So grab a piece of paper. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to write a theme for 2023. This needs to be an active statement. We are all familiar with the Nike theme. What is it? Just do it. So if a big corporation has a theme that they live by, I think we should have a theme that we need to live by. Now, my theme is two prong. The first part of my theme is Tamara. If you want it, go get it. It's not long. It's short and sweet. I got it. That second part of that theme is and why do I have a second part? Well, you know, we get off, off track sometimes. Uh, we're watching social media. We may be watching something on TV, which is fine because we all need to have some downtime. But sometimes we have too much downtime. So we need something to kind of bring us back, get us back on track. So my second part of my theme is, sis, what are you working on? That helps me to stay accountable. I, I have to be true to myself. So I know me, I know <laughs> I can get off task, I can get off track, so I need to make sure I don't have distractions. So that is what that second uh, part of my theme is. Sis, what are you working on? So that immediately, it makes me snap out of whatever I'm doing and come on Tamara, let's get focused. So pen to paper. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write that theme. Hold on to that pen and paper because we have something else we're gonna work on. The second thing I believe we, all, we need to do is we need to write down all the things that we want to get after for 2023. Now, I didn't write the details. I didn't need the details. I just needed a high level list so I know what I'm going to do. You know, it's goals, it's purchases, et cetera. It doesn't matter what it is. High level, make that list. That list took me all of five minutes. It, you already pretty much know, but you, this is the time you're going to actually sit down and you're going to say, okay, these are my goals. These are the things I want to purchase. Um, these are what I want to have accomplished for 2023. Now, before you start, two things I want you to keep in mind. Don't think about resources and don't think about any limitations. Now start writing. My list had 19 things. <laughs> I didn't like ending with 19. I didn't like that number. So I added one more thing that I wanted to put on the list. And I said, okay, 20 sounds better. It's an even number. Can't help it. That is just how the brain works. But then I realized I forgot something that was important. That took me to 21. And I said, okay, I'm good. 21 is a good number. I can handle that. Now, let me, <laughs> let me tell you, let me suggest what you should not put on that list. A man, you have no control over what anyone else does. This is for you. You only have control over you. Life experience has taught me that if you're out there doing your thing, if you're out there getting after it, you don't have to worry. He will see you way before you see him. So just move, just go forward, just work on your list, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a theme and it's got to be an active statement. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to write down a list and it's going to be all the things that we want to get accomplished for 2023. They include goals. They include purchases. Okay. Don't forget key, no resources issue and no limitations. Make the list. Now there's one more list I want you to make. Okay. A little shorter. Take you a few minutes to get it done but this is what I want you to write down. How much is it in your checking account? How much is in your savings account? How much is in your investment account? How much is in your children's account? Did I leave anything else? 
how much is in your retirement account, and of course, how much is in your emergency fund. Now, that's not what's in there right now. That's what you would like to be in there by the end of 2023. And on other videos, we'll talk about how to get to that point, okay? Little by little, we'll keep throwing those videos in. Um, I'm not an expert, but let me just tell you, I have a lot of life experience and I've learned from some of the best because I've done the research, I've done the work. We'll talk about Dave Ramsey. Um, there's other people that we'll talk about. So what I want you to realize that this is your 2023 compass. At any moment, any time between January and December, you should be able to look at that list and know where you are because you're gonna check in with yourself at least every quarter. Some, like me, I'll be doing it like every month. Okay, am I getting something accomplished? Because I don't wanna have all of those things still on that list in February, nor do I want them at the end of the first quarter. So I will be working really hard to try to get some of these things accomplished as soon as I can, because I got this thing about checking off or putting a line through it. It just makes me feel good. And it motivates me and push me to do more and try to go a little faster. Now, I know some of you guys are saying I'm tired and I'm exhausted, but when you look at these lists, it would motivate you because you've already given it some thought. I want to get this accomplished and this is how I want my coins to look. Now, if you're saying, Tamara, but what about my kids? What about my children? Look, trust me, when your, your life starts falling in line and the decks line up, your kids will be the, they will see the overflow. They will receive the blessing from you working hard, trying to get those things on your list accomplished, okay? And plus, think about it. When your kids see you, you're dragging around the house, you're stressed, you're tired, you're angry, you're crying, you know they sense something is wrong with mommy. Of course they do. Now, don't you think if things are lining up and you're getting things accomplished, don't you think they're gonna also sense that? Hey, everything is cool. Mom's in a good mood. Mom is doing fine, which means we are doing fine. So, but this is what you also need to do. Kids will be fine. Daily, half sleep when you get up in the morning. Tired, sometimes exhausted. You need to read those lists and you need to read them out loud. You just, every, just make it a habit. I don't care if you walk away and you forget, go back to it and read your list, both of them. You're gonna read your goal list um, and then you're gonna read your coin list. We ain't even gonna call them, we're just gonna read, because these are your coins. They're, this is money in your pocket because you have to plan because you know time moves, time does not wait on you. So we need to put things in place so we can check off and that we can keep moving forward. Now. The fourth thing I want you to do is get your head straight. I know, Tamara, what are you talking about? If you've never talked to yourself, 2023 is going to be different because you're gonna to talk to yourself and you're gonna to talk to yourself loud and clear. Just make sure the kids know that mommy's not uh, nuts, mommy is fine. But you're going to be talking to yourself. You're gonna be sending motivation messages to yourself. We are connected to everything in this universe. I know you heard this before. Your thought this year will be the most important and the most powerful words you will hear because you will be telling them to yourself. If we want 2023 to be an extraordinary year, we must rewire any of that residue any of that emotional drama from 2020 to, uh, 2022, done. We're not gonna play those videos in our head anymore. And look, here's a little caveat. Everyone is not your friend. So let them keep their own drama in 2023. You can still be a loving, a good friend, a good cousin, whatever, but you're gonna limit the amount of drama that comes into your head because you need to constantly be telling yourself, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. I am simply amazing. Those are the things you're going to be putting and saying into your head. So if your mind starts trying to, trying to play back those negative thoughts and stuff, no, 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 no. Hit the default button right away. And the default button is gonna be all positivity, okay? I know every day is not 
pie in the sky. That's not what I'm saying. And I'm trying to be very realistic here, but I'm going to make an intentional, it's going to be intentional that when that old stuff starts playing in my head or trying to play in my head, that I'm going to hit my default button and I'm going to say, no, 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 no. I am beautifully and wonderfully made. Okay. And I am simply amazing. It doesn't matter what other people think about me. This is what I'm going to think about myself. I am going to see me as my creator sees me. That's my theme for 2023. So mom, if you don't see yourself valuable, please believe me outside of your mama, no one's going to believe it. You have to believe that you are valuable and you have to make sure people treat you as if you're valuable. If you don't believe that in yourself, people will see it and they will treat you any kind of way they want. We're not doing that in 2023. So listen, and your value, please hear me. It has nothing to do <laughs> with your makeup, even though I love it. Um, it has nothing to do with the clothes on your back, even though I love clothes. Um, and it has nothing to do with the car that you drive. Okay, I know we all want a better one. We all want something different and we can have those things too. But what I'm trying to tell you is right now today in 2023, your value has nothing to do with those outside things, external things. It has to do with what's in the inside. So you're going to start telling yourself a different story for 2023 because you're extraordinary. So I'm going to leave you with this. Every day, try very, very hard to show up being the best version of yourself. Am I going to be perfect? No, but I'm going to show up really trying to be the best, the best version of myself. And sometimes when you start working and <laughs> you got messages already popping off and you're thinking, uh-uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to respond positively. I'm not going to react to anything because I am going to set the tone for my own day. Okay. The other thing I want to say is love yourself. Don't sit in a corner. Don't be on the couch. I'm crying. What was me? Nobody loves me. No, 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 no. The one who needs to love you, he does. You don't have to worry about it. He does. But you need to love yourself. And you need to be kind to others. But most importantly, you need to be kind to yourself. Extend yourself some grace. As you extend to others, extend it to yourself. Most importantly, you just need to see yourself as the creator sees you. Beautifully and wonderfully made. Just tell yourself, I am simply amazing. You just need to have a small bit of faith in everything you hope for on that list just a small. Don't worry about resources. Don't worry about limitations. Just get after it. You will be amazed what will happen. Things will come out of nowhere that will happen. You just have to have a, put the list down, do the work. You have to do the work. Okay. You got to plan. You got to get after it. Do the work. And things will just happen that you will just say, I don't know where and I don't know how. Do the work, make the list, read the list and read them out loud. Okay. You are your most valuable asset. Treat yourself as such. Well, mom, I'm excited about 2023. I was in December. I was looking forward to 2023. So when it got close to after Christmas and before New Year's, I was getting rid of all that stuff, the Christmas stuff out of the house. I was boxing up stuff, putting it in the garage. I was getting rid of everything. I was looking forward to 2023 because I knew I was going to set the tone right because I wanted it to be an extraordinary year. So here we go, single moms. So until we have the next video, want to tell you bye, have fun, get your list done, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.